Jacob May from Live Sculpting Solutions. What we're going to talk about today is a fear most people have about maintaining and keeping the wealth, and that's with the taxes. Uh, this is tax season here, and a lot of people, what they're afraid of is to actually claim deductions on their taxes and trying to maintain and keep wealth. Now, this being said, let me start with the very basic concept that you need to understand about living in North America. You have to pay taxes if you make money in North America. Furthermore, if you're going to keep or maintain or not spend it, you have to pay taxes on that as well. This is a scary and a spooky thing for most people, and it shouldn't be. Um, taxes, yes, you have to respect it, but people have a wrong idea about taxes, and taxes can actually be a magnificent, wonderful, and beautiful thing, especially write-offs in which you can keep and maintain your own wealth. You make the money, you should have the money, but you still need to pay taxes. Now, this being said, before you apply any of these techniques, simply get a certified public account. The first thing that you're obviously going to need to have is a certified public accountant, and he needs to be update, updated with all the tax information of this of the year. Understand taxes, tax rules and laws changes all the time. It can maybe even change sometimes two times or three times in the same year. So he needs to be updated with this. Now, you are not going to know all the tax rules unless you're a CPA and this is what you're studying. And if that's what you're studying, you don't need to watch this video. You can keep and maintain your money and your wealth more effectively and only by using a certified public accountant. What you need to do is understand how the basic rules of what taxes is about. The basic rules of taxes is this, is if you make money, you have to pay a portion of that to the United States government because you are a citizen and you are paying the money that operates all of our system. That's the very basics of the, the taxes and the IRS and what they're actually going to be looking for inside of you. Now, if you make money and you hold it, then the money is not out being spent and it's not generating the wealth and income for the rest of North America. That is what they're concerned about. If you hold money, you're saying you have the money and they're asking you if you've done anything with it. If you have not done anything with it, then they want a portion of that because you're not doing anything with it. That's basically the rules of the United States government when it comes to taxes. It's that scary. It's not scary, it's not spooky, that's just the way that it is. And just understand, if you're holding money and you're not spending it, they assume you have it to pay taxes. That's as basic as it can be on this. But there is a beautiful concept in this. Because of taxes, the United States government wants you to be successful. And they want you to make a lot of money. Obviously, it's for their needs and for their purposes. They want you to make money so they can tax you more. But they're willing to give you expenditures to make more money so they, they can tax you more. It's just the understanding. As long as you're not truly just holding the money, and this works out great for you because, and it's great for the United States government because imagine large CEOs, corporations that are making billions of dollars. Well, if they have all the money and they're just holding it, what would we do? I mean, how are we going to make our money? You know what I'm saying? but they have employees, they buy tools, they buy equipment, they are spending money, and because they're not holding it, the government is allowing them to make these expenditures, and they're not charging them for money that they do not have because they're giving it to us in other, in other occupations, such as production, business meetings, and all this, and they're spending money, which is supplying more jobs. It is really basic and really simple. They're wanting the same thing of you. So the United States government is willing to invest in their citizens that they tax. They want you to be more successful. They don't want you to hold the money. They want you to spend it, which creates more jobs elsewhere for other people. And this creates so they can be taxed more. This is a magnificent thing. So if you are working to better yourself and to make more money, you still have to drive. You still have to talk to people. You still have to prepare for work, as in trying to make more money. So if you need to go to school to study, 
for they give you tax breaks for these things. Now, this is between you and your certified public accountant to discuss what you can and cannot write off because they change at all times. So if you're making a chance to make money, if you're going to go to even drive for a job interview, per se, if you need certain things for the job interview to try to make more money, these are usually tax write-offs. And you get, uh, you do not have to pay the money that you've already spent. That is basically what the United States government is wanting from you. They, they want you to be out being successful, building and creating networks, and learning more and growing more and making more money so that they can tax you more. And they're not going to tax you for the money that you do not have. Now there is some exceptions. This change all the time. I am not a certified public accountant. You need to find one and simply take a list of what you've spent that year, why you spent it trying to make more money and explain it to your certified public accountant. He will then tell you what you can and what you cannot claim. And if you ask more questions, take one to a business lunch to even learn more about it. That's all that it is. And you, if you take like if you take someone to business lunch so you can make money or save money, usually that's a tax write-off. Now I'm not a certified public accountant. This can change, but it's really that basic and that simple. So let's recap. Basically, the government is only going to tax you for the money that you make and the money that you have. Now, if you spent it somewhere else and it's not a tax write-off, you haven't paid taxes on it, yes, they will come after you. So, I mean, if you do something illegal, they are going to hold you accountable. But speak to a certified public accountant. Make sure that they have all the information and that they understand everything that you're saying and everything that you're trying to do to better yourself. Make sure that they are up to date and allow them to fill out your paperwork and simply ask them, explain it to them like I have explained to you. And this is between you and your certified accountant because I'm not a certified public accountant and explain to them why you were trying to write this off. What, and he will explain to you more in detail what you can write off and what you cannot write off. And you, and he will not, and it's actually works out great for you. But anyway, I hope I was helpful and understand that there's, you know, you're, you're not a criminal for explaining your, your business, but you're going to have to explain where your money went. So if that makes you feel awkward. I respect that, but you need to have a certified public accountant if you're hoping to make any write-offs or show up money you do not have in being taxed. So other than that, I hope I was helpful, but don't be afraid. Be prepared to expand and grow. Other than that, every Saturday I make a video at 10 a.m. and have it published. Uh, I hope that you're blessed, and if you are blessed, share your blessings with those that do not have blessings. Other than that, God bless you, and I'll see you next week.